Hey everyone, Fells Life here and welcome to episode 9 of my Krish Kit tutorial series. This week we're going to look at adding items to the scrap list or in other words making things scrappable when you're in the workshop mode in game. Okay so first things first I'm going to just load into one of my cells here. This is a mod I've been working on recently and it's going to be released in the next few days because it's nearly finished. But while I was doing this I thought I would do another tutorial on this because I'm actually doing this at the minute for this mod. Okay, now we'll just give that a little second to load up. This will obviously vary on what system you have and how fast your system is. Okay, so that didn't take too long. So I'm looking for a specific item. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is this little workshop uh, thing here. Not a little workshop, worktop. So I've already added, added this part right here, but this part isn't added yet because I was waiting for the tutorial. Okay, so first things first, double click it without it moving. Um, I'm going to click edit base to get the name and I'm going to just keep that in the background down here. I'm going to put this down here out of the way, but I just want this to be easily accessible because make, it's going to make things a lot easier. Okay, so if you're not going to do it this way, you can obviously just find the, the static object or any of these objects, you can all find them in the object window. All you have to do is search for them in the static static items list. Okay, so first things first, we're going to need to find form list. That's actually in miscellaneous, so if you go to miscellaneous, hit the little X or the little uh, plus sign, it'll bring this up. And you're going to just double click that. It's going to bring up this little uh, list of stuff here. We're not going to worry about any of that, we're going to right click over them and hit new. And that's going to bring this little window up. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is create a custom ID. So what we're going to do is call this workshop scrap recipe underscore scrap. I put a little R after the recipe because I actually learned this off another user. I'm going to put the link to the text-based tutorial of this from Bethesda.net in the description, but his little way of doing it makes things, it just makes things a little easier to find. Okay, after this, we're going to do underscore, and then we're going to get the name that we had here. I'm going to double click that, that's just from the little window that we opened earlier on. I'm going to get the name, or the ID of that name, and we're going to paste it in there. And this little box here is going to be the name of what it's going to show up whenever you scrap it in game. But we're just going to use that to uh, put the normal name of the one from the Chris kit. Hope that wasn't too complicated, but if you follow the steps and uh, watch the video, you can also slow this video down. It'll be in the uh, it's in the settings for YouTube, but hopefully you won't need to. Okay, so next we're going to do is put that name that we have. That we've already used it twice there. We're going to put it in the filter to find our object again. We're going to click the All tab, and here it is right here. And we're going to drag that from there. Just hold the left click and drag into this window here. And that's going to hit, or that's going to make the uh, that recognized in that form list as that static object. Now we're going to click OK. OK, so next thing we're going to need to do is go to Constructible Object. Again, that's under the Items tab. So we're just going to click that, clear the filter, and we're going to make a new constructible object. Okay, so there it is. Again, we need to use a custom ID, so we're going to call this workshop underscore co underscore scrap underscore the name, which we just keep down here to make things handy. Copy that, put that in there. And now there's the custom ID done. Next we're going to need to go to creative object. Just click that, it'll give you a little drop down menu. And we're going to type in, you can actually just type, you know, as you normally would, and it'll actually search for the name. So we're going to put workshop scrap. Oop, I messed that up. Workshop scrap. Just to bring up the uh, all the names like that. I'm going to scroll down and it should be at the bottom because I put the little R in. So counter end or diner interior counter end 02. That should be it. 
yes it is i'm going to click enter on that and next we're going to need to put a keyword in here so we're going to right click on the recipe filters hit add and we're going to search for workshop recipe filter scrap i'm going to double click that to put the keyword in there and this little list here is going to be what you actually get for scrapping that object so i'm just going to get some steel for this so i'm going to put steel in the filter go to all and i'm going to look for this one here you can tell what it is because it's got the misc as form type so i'm going to drag that in there and this is going to bring up this little window here how many do you want to get for that two is fine so i'm going to click ok so that means whenever you scrap this you're going to get two so this should be it done we're going to click ok I'm going to exit out of all this crap because we don't actually need it anymore and i'm going to find the little window that's hiding from us it's in here somewhere Aha, there's what it is. Accelerate that. And we're going to hit save. And that should be us done. Obviously, you can do this as many times as you want. Just put the different name in after the uh, workshop scrap recipe underscore scrap. Do you know, as we've done at the first start, it should be pretty easy to follow. Once you've done it a couple of times, it's, uh, it's pretty easy. But uh, now we're going to load in game and see what it looks like in game. All right, so now we're in the Red Rocket uh, truck stop, and we're gonna test to see if that worked. This is actually my little test character, so I just didn't have the uh, workshop activated there. But now, as you can see, we're gonna hit X. That's gonna put in the little name we put in, scrap. We're gonna get two steel. That works absolutely fine. I've done all these other objects too. I. Uh, I haven't had any problems with this method and it seems to work just fine. If you guys are curious what mod this is, this is one of my upcoming mods. It will be out pretty soon. So if any of you guys uh, like to see my mod releases, it will be a couple more days. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you didn't, don't. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thanks everyone and peace out.